Hi guys, back with another video. So Pennsylvania's duck season, the early duck season, opens up in the next week or so. And I wanted to do a little bit of patterning to see how well things are going to be, see which one of these I should use. So we got the Benelli M2 and 20 gauge. I'm going to try to use that for, try to get a couple ducks with it. We got three different shells. We got the Winchester Expert. This is number four shot, seven eighths ounce of shot going at 1,500 feet per second. We also got two boxes of the Boss. We got the number fours, uh, one and eighth ounce, one and one eighth ounce at 350 feet per second, and number five at one and one eighth ounce at 350 feet per second. We have two chokes here. We got the Carlson's Cremator mid-range and the Carlson's Cremator long-range. Uh, I've been using the mid-range quite often for doves watch any of my dove hunt videos. I've got quite a few doves with it. It patterns very good with lead. So we're going to try it out with some of this steel and some of this uh, bismuth. See so what kind of patterns we get at 40 yards. So we're going to take a shot. We'll compare all the targets at the end. It's raining pretty good today. But I think what we'll do, we'll start with the mid-range. Put this down. It'll roll off the table. We'll start with the mid-range. I think we'll start with the Boss 4s to see what an, get an idea what the pattern looks like and then we'll try the long range see how much of a difference there is see if I can pick one of these to use for ducks in the upcoming season been doing quite a bit of scouting trying to find some ducks located some found some roost sites hoping to put that knowledge to good use when the season comes on all right here we go, number four boss, 40 yards. Let's see what happens. Let's go up and take a look at the target, and we'll replace the target with a new one. All right, we're walking up the target here. I know with the brown paper, sometimes it's hard to see holes in it. You might have to do something to get a better look at it. That's a pattern. Looks like it's pretty spread out pretty good. I do know that Boss recommends a tighter choke. That was a mid-range choke. I'm going to try it later on with the full and see what happens. But right now we'll tear the, tear the target down. We'll put up a fresh one. All right, now we're going to try the steel number four. Now this is a bit less shot. But it's steel instead of bismuth. We'll see what the mid-range choke does on that. All right, we'll go up and check the target. We'll put a fresh one up. A little wet today. All right, let's check out what this number four steel does at 40 yards. Looks like I'm shooting a bit high. take the target down we'll put up a fresh one all right we got a fresh target up let's try some of this boss number five now this is uh, these are three inch shells all three boxes are all three inch let's see what the number five does Take a look, put up a fresh one, and see what that target looks like. Walking up, boss number five. It looks like everything shoots high. I mean, it's spread out. You can see it, it's spread out, but it looks like most of the pattern's up that way. All right, so now what we want to do, we want to switch out the chokes. We're going to put the long range in. See how much of a difference that makes. Now again, the distance is 40 yards. That's pretty much the standard what everybody patterns at. And we will start again with boss number four.
Alright, let's go check the target. Walking up to the target here. We're going to see if that long range choke made much of a difference over the mid range. Now this gun does tend to shoot a little high. But this is the target here. I mean again, looks like most of the pattern's up there. All right, now let's try these Winchester Expert Steels. Number four, we'll try that again at 40 yards. Maybe it's not Expert, it just says Waterfowl on it. All right, Winchester Steel number four. Up and take a look. Up to look at the Winchester Steel number fours. See what kind of pattern we got with them. I know it's hard to see with the brown paper. A little high. It looks like a pretty tight pattern. I mean, I, I like that. It's not too bad. All right, we got a fresh target. Try the number five boss. Long range choke. I know this thing shoots a little high. I actually float the target above the bead when I shoot, but I don't think it's quite, maybe I'm not floating it high enough. We're going to try this last round and then we'll compare everything. Let's go up and look at it. All right, walking up, boss number five, long range choke. So what kind of pattern we got with this? Looks like I may have flinched. Looks like a majority of it is over here. All right, we're gonna look at these targets here. I'm not really impressed with anything here. So here what we got. We got the boss number four mid range. I mean, it's kind of a loose pattern. We are shooting 40 yards. And this is the boss number four with the long range choke. Just so you guys can see a comparison of it 40 yards. Now, here we go with the Winchester number four steel. Not too shabby. I'm excuse me not too impressive but this I don't believe is too shabby here that's with the long range choke number four steel I do know that steel seems to pattern tighten it seems to pattern tighter than what lead does and I imagine the same goes for bismuth so this is the boss number five it's a mid range choke not impressed with that. I think the choke does need to be a bit tighter. Now here we are with the long range choke number five. Now I did pull that shot a little bit, pulled it to the left. It seems good, a lot of BBs in that paper, good and tight. So I do think the choke makes a difference, the tighter choke, especially with the bismuth. I mean, it does seem to tighten up the pattern quite a bit, but the steel does pretty good. Kind of impressed with that actually. It does have quite a bit fewer BBs though too. It only has seven eighths ounce of shot and the boss has an ounce and an eighth. So there's a bit of difference in the BBs, but the steel does seem to be pretty tight. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for the video. I just wanted to try a couple of these shells, see how things would be. Go home, look things over a little bit, decide what I'm gonna use on the first day of duck season. So that'll be it for the video. I'll see you on the next one.